Blake, I can't help but ask you this question. Uh, you, you know, you hear uh, Badu say that, you know, he doesn't know who you are and it's for his charity and all this stuff. What goes through right. your mind when you hear your opponent talking about you like this? Do, do you feel like it is disrespectful? Uh, you know, people could take it as that, you know, it's kind of, you know, comical to me. You know, the fact that the number one role in boxing in life is you should never underestimate anybody because you never know what anybody's capable of doing, right? In the sport of boxing, you never want to look past the fight that's right in front of you. You know, you should never underestimate any of your opponents because, again, you have no idea their skill set <laughs> or what they're capable of doing. What I can tell you and promise you is that Badu Jack has never faced or even shared the ring with a man of a caliber like myself. And the reason I say that is I'm a decorated combat vet. I've been this overseas. I've fought in war. I've, I've served my country. I know what it feels like to look death straight in the eyes and to walk away and to survive. I've done it countless times. Staring at Badu Jack across the ring doesn't intimidate me in no way, shape, form, or fashion. I'm showing up, again, prepped for war and ready for battle, ready to showcase the skills that I need to to leave victorious. And like I've done every single fight, I'm a man of positive affirmations, a man of God. I speak my greatness into existence. November 28th, I will go 14 and 0. And we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to continue to take this as a stepping stone and keep on moving up the ladder. This is destiny's God and God's plan, man. Badu Jack is just one of the names and the people that are standing in my way right now. And I'm looking forward to, to sharing the ring with him and doing what I need to to leave victorious on November 28th. And, and Badu, uh, I, I do want to let you know, I, I know you said you didn't know a lot about Blake. Uh, his nickname is The Beast because uh, mm. he spent three and a half years as a machine gunner in the infantry, including uh, one year in Iraq. You heard what he just said. I couldn't help but uh, see you smile there. Uh, yeah. what, what is your response to what he just said? I mean, you know, I'm a quiet guy. I don't talk a lot of shit. We'll, we'll see fight night, but, you know, him and it, well, my team is telling me that he's been talking crazy. So I wonder who's overlooking who. And that I haven't been in the ring with somebody like that. That just, you know, come on, man. I fought eight world champions back to back. So, I mean, this guy's a club level level fighter. So, hey, no, I mean, not to interrupt, but nobody's so, talking crazy, man. So, I understand you know, that you share the ring guy, with world we gave champions. This guy, we gave but this, this guy is a different caliber. You know, this we, is a different caliber. He, he don't deserve level, to man. be on this stage. He, we gave him an opportunity. So, I mean, you should show a little respect, you know. Hey, I definitely got respect for you, man. I, I commend you on what you've done in and outside of the ring in your career and in your life. You know, the number one thing that we both share is that we're fathers. At the end of the day, I'm looking forward to sharing the ring with you, putting on one hell of a show. I'm showing up prepared to die in that ring, to do whatever I have to to leave victorious. But at the end of the night, what's most important is that you and I both make it home safe to our families, man. So with that said, nobody's overlooking anybody on my, on my side. We understand perfectly what we're getting involved in, getting ready to walk into. I just hope that you start doing your homework and you're prepared and doing the same thing. This guy, this guy actually... It's kind of funny. He reminds me of uh, what's the name of that guy that Mike Tyson fought? Peter McNeely. That's how he talks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. Uh, so it, 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 it's a fight. What are you going to say? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go in there and get my ass kicked. No, of course. He got to believe in himself. And, the, you know, this is, this is the hurt business. Tune in to uh, November 28th. Uh, Badu, let me ask you, between now and November 28th, will you watch a single second of footage of his previous fights? His team's already been watching footage of me. They've already been oh. putting tabs on me. Oh, nah, okay. Nah, but your really. response, Badu? No, nah, <laughs> I don't. I mean, I, I fought so many guys. I had 150 amateur fights. I had, I fought so many uh, great fighters. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really worried about him. But I respect any man to step in the ring with me. You and me both. Looking forward to sharing the ring with you, Badu, and I'll see you fight night, bro. Club level fighter. I mean, that's the ultimate disrespect there, Blake. Don't deserve to be on the card. I I'm assuming this is firing you up. We're less than a month away. Hey, man, I'm over here smiling. It's humorous to me. You know, the fact that, again, he, he thinks that I'm a club level fighter, it's okay. I understand, you know, I'm 13 and 0. I'm what ranked top 16 in the country in my weight division. Badu needs to beat me in order to save his career. That's what they need. You know, he even though he has had some very tough fights, you know, he's fought numerous world champions. Again, I give him credit where credit is due. The guy has had a phenomenal career. 
but he hasn't technically won a fight in three years. Him and his team need me to be an easy walkover fight to, in a, in a sense, save his career. You know, I believe that Badu, correct me if I'm wrong, he turns 37 before we fight. In my opinion, you know, looking at his age and his record and how long he's been fighting, Badu's in a sense on a downward trajectory in his career. I'm, I'm on an uphill, you know, in my career. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to after winning this fight, seeing where this excels me to.